Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone, and holy wow, Brie Larson's probably going to feel this one. Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, chosen as least powerful Avengers Endgame director reacts. Fans don't think Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, is the most powerful character in the MCU. Which sees the Avengers Endgame director Anthony Russo react to the news. If you recall, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige took a page out of Disney's Pinocchio prior to the release of Captain Marvel, offering that Carol Danvers is the most powerful character in the MCU, meaning more powerful than Thanos, Hulk, Doctor Strange, Thor, Scarlet Witch, and everybody else. Mm, not really. Anywho, she's one of the most popular characters in our comics. <laughs> she's one of the most powerful characters in the comics. <laughs> and will be the most powerful character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Feige said. <laughs> Which everyone knows is a huge stretch of the truth as the comics don't sell, and the character can hardly be compared or could be considered in the same league as aforementioned Avengers and Marvel characters. Regarding Anthony Russo during a promo Avengers Endgame movie, Joe Russo and Anthony Russo fielded questions on Twitter, which Wired recorded. One of the questions happened to be a poll asking who is the most powerful of the Avengers, well, Brie Larson as Captain Marvel received at least, or the least, votes with only 6%, which Anthony Russo reacted to and frown. And yeah, oh my god. And it basically says underneath the picture, I'm looking at a picture of Anthony Russo's, he's like, looking down, it's like, yeah, they don't like him. You want to know who received the most votes in this poll? The kid from Iron Man 3. Harley. Yep, Harley, the kid from Iron Man 3, man. Way to go, kid. What's also interesting is that the Russo brothers basically removed Brie Larson as Captain Marvel from the entirety of Avengers Endgame. They explaining her leaving and has having to go off into space, which was rather hilarious. Uh, as they would, or as why Captain Marvel would go off into space and come back with no help when everything is occurring on Earth. Why did she leave? Why didn't she help the Avengers? Hey, I'm not complaining, but I thought it was kind of funny. Oh my god. The Brie Larson Captain Marvel movie has received huge fan backlash with claims that Disney fibbed. Pinocchio seems to be a theme surrounding the, this flick for some reason. About box office numbers that Rotten Tomatoes colluded with Disney about fan reaction. And even that Disney sabotaged Fox Studios' X-Men Dark Phoenix movie in order, in order to bolster Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, which was threatened by Sophie Turner... And Dark Phoenix. Interestingly enough, while at Comic-Con, insiders filled me in, the person who wrote this article, that Disney told their El Capitan Theater in Los Angeles to fudge the numbers back in the day. Ooh, that's not good. Marvel is yet to announce a Captain Marvel 2, which oddly enough isn't part of their girl power phase 4 plans. But the sequel is rumored to be announced this week at Disney's D23 Expo. Rumors for Captain Marvel 2 include that it will feature Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, and that blonde white dude, Michael Korvac, will be the villain. Okay, that, yeah, that goes along with the narrative. Men are evil. Brie Larson, who recently took to social media to show off her Star Wars Jedi realness, which, yeah, I wouldn't know. That is like the worst, ugh, kind of thing, ugh. 
I'll vote that. I, oh my god, this is awesome. Anywho, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. To hear that the Russo brothers are finally getting, or undeniably hearing that fans did not like Captain Marvel and don't like Brie Larson is hilarious. They are, I'm surprised they didn't make a statement saying that it's nothing but trolls or sexist idiots or whatever. Because it would be a real huge mistake for the Russos to actually come out and say something like that. If they want to go the Taika Waititi route and the Ryan Johnson route, you go right ahead, Russos. But I guarantee you, you will not be respected for it. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you guys like hearing this news about Brie Larson's Captain Marvel not or being voted the least powerful Avenger? And also at least liked if you really want to get into it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, and I will catch you all on the next one.